Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to discuss about linear search for multiple occurrence. Suppose if I enter the number 6, so total number I enter into the array 6, or uh, this all of 7, 9, 11, 12, 9, 6. So I enter 9 occurs 2 times. So I want to display the output 9 is present at 2 and 9 is present at in my last example, uh, suppose I enter this elements, so the output come only 9 is present at 2. So this time whenever I enter multiple occurrence number, so suppose if I enter 9 one more times at this point, so I enter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the next output come 9 is present at 7. So let's do it. Next, I'm going to discuss about the try and method of this program. So, if you debug the code, control comes to main function. Here, after that, go inside. So, right here, I've taken five integer variable. First is i, next n, here, after add a variable, a over r. So, right here, I've given the size 155. So, maximum you can enter 155 elements into the array. If you want more, then increase the size. And here, after next variable, loc and cnd. cnd in a slash to 0. So, here, after control comes to cout function. So, whatever in double code that display 
into the output screen and whatever I'm going to enter so that received by n. So I'm going to enter n value 5. Here after control comes to this point, see out function. So this are display into the output screen, enter the array element, slash n, then cursor comes to the new line. Here after for loop, so i value start from 0 at here. Or check the condition 0 less than 5, condition is true. So at your scene function. So let's enter a double r 0 position element. So this is a double r. So first I am going to do the indexing. So this is a 0 index. 1, 2, 3, 4. So a double, a double r 0 position I am going to enter or 7. Here after that go up, increase the value of i. So i is 1 now. Check the condition 1 less than 5. Condition is 2. So that go inside. So I have enter a double r 1 position new element. So I am going to enter 9. Here after i increase, so i is 2 now. Check the condition 2 less than 5. Condition is 2. So that go inside. So let's enter a double r 2 position new element. So 2 position I am going to enter 6. Here after i increase, so i is 3 now. Or check the condition 3 less than 5 condition is true, so that coincides. So let's enter a double of 3 position new element. So I'm going to 11 at 3 position. Here after i increase, so i is now 4. Check the condition 4 less than 5 condition is true, so that coincides. So at a, let's enter a double of 4 position new element. So I'm going to enter 7. Here after i is now 5. Or check the condition 5 less than 5 condition is not true, so that not coincide. Now control comes to this point. So at your see out function, so this are display into the output screen. Enter number to search. So as and then cursor comes to the new line. And whatever I'm going to enter, so that received by LOC. So I'm going to enter LOC value 7. So at your i value start from 0. Check the condition 0 less than n value 5. 0 less than 5 condition is true, so that coincide certain. If a double r 0 position double equal to log, so 0 position is 7 and LOC value also 7. 7 equal to 7, condition is true, so that coincide here, see out function. So LOC value 7 is percent at i plus 1, so i value is now 0 plus 1, 1. The output come, LOC is percent at 1. And here after control comes to this point, so that increases the CNT value. CNT is now 1. Now from here, after the if, if a statement, so that go up and increase the value of i. So i is 1 now. Check the condition 1 less than 5, condition is 2. So at a, a double or 1 position double equal to LOC. So 1 position 9 double equal to 7, condition is not 2, not coincide. Here after i increase, so i is 2 now. Check the condition 2 less than or 7, condition is 2. So that coincides. So at a, a double r, 2 position double equal to LOC. 6 double equal to 7, condition is not true, not coincide. Here after i increase. So i is 3 now. Check the condition 3 less than 7, condition is 2. So that coincides. So at a, a double r, 3 position double equal to log. So 11 double equal to 7, condition is not true, not coincide. Here after i is now 4. Or check the condition 4 less than 5 condition is true that coincides so at a double or 4 position double equal to LOC. So 4 position is 7, LOC is 7, both are equal. So that coincides here, see out. So LOC value 7 is percent at i plus 1. So i value is now 4, 4 plus 1, 5. So the output is 7 is percent at 5. Here after control comes to CNT. So CNT increase now, CNT is 2 that go up and increase the value of i. So i is now 5. Check the condition 5 less than uh, 5. n value also 5. Condition is not true. So that not coincide. Here after control comes to this point. If cnt double equal to 0. cnt is 2. So condition is not true. So that out. And next that out from main function. So I to in array. I enter 7 two times. So the output comes. First time the output comes. Uh, 7 is percent at 
वन एंड नेक्स्ट टर्म आउटपुट कम और सेवन इज प्रजेंट एट फाइव सपोज इफ आई इंटर नॉन मैचिंग रिकॉर्ड और दिकॉर्ड्स सपोज इफ आई इंटर नॉन मैचिंग एलिमेंट सो एट योर सेवन इज आई इंटर प्रीवियस टर्म सो नॉन मैचिंग एलिमेंट आई एम गोइंग टू इंटर थ्री so what will happen this will check one by one so a dot on i start from 0 check the condition 0 less than 5 condition is true so first time that check a dot on 0 by 7 double equal to log so log value into i3 3 double equal to 7 condition is not true so not coincide here after i increase so i is now 1 so a dot on 1 by 7 9 is the 9 double equal to 3 condition is not true not coincide so add here A to R two two percent six six double equal to three condition is not true not coincide. So when the value of I we set five so condition here that false so now control comes to this point. So if C N T double equal to zero so C N T zero because no any element match so C N T value not increase so here that display or three not in the array and here after that R two main function. so this is the drand method of this program so i hope guys you understand so thanks for watching see you next week